You guys, in under seven minutes, you are gonna see me transform a basic disposable board into a, my beautiful creation. But before we get started, let's go ahead and fold some meat. So I've never been a fan of people just placing the meat on the board like that. So I'm gonna show you how I make a salami rose along with two different ways how you can fold your salami meats. No judgment, but if you are like some people and you just want to get to the end part when I put the board together, I will go ahead and put a timestamp within this video. I'm so glad you were able to catch the provolone flower, which was absolutely beautiful. And then there was the history of our Queen Brie video. Last cheese video was the smoked Gouda that had a Batman flare. <laughs> Those videos will be linked somewhere on this video if you happen to miss those and you want to check them out. Thinking about doing your own charcuterie board? Comment how to and which how to step you want me to go over in more detail. But something to always keep an open mind about when it comes to charcuterie boards is sometimes you have to adapt or change things up a little bit to make it make sense. Like this meat right here, salami was not working out for me. So I had to pivot and try something different. So I just did rose buds instead of making itty bitty little roll ups. It worked out just fine. Even though it wasn't my vision, it was able to do what I needed to do for the board overall. Also another tip, do your meat closer to room temperature i was on the time crunch here in this part of the video and so that's why my meat keeps coming apart because it is still semi-cold but when the meat is more room temperature you won't have that problem however with prosciutto you want it cold so this bad boy is with prosciutto you want to work with him cold because it makes it easier to manage and to fan things out I'm not saying he needs to be straight out of the refrigerator, but maybe only five to seven minutes on the counter and not almost 10 to 15 with the other meats. Welcome. If you skipped all the other meat folding, no worries. It's okay. I'm not too bitter. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get into setting up this charcuterie board. I am going to a party and I felt like bringing a charcuterie board. So that is what this board is for. Once again, don't like it, we're gonna pivot and try something different.
remember me talking about the honeycomb and the queen brie video series well here is what we're going to use it for honey and brie taste amazing but if you add one of these fruits to that bite oh that'll take you where you need to go baby Another fun tip for your charcuterie board, make sure to always add some chocolate or something sweet that you or your friends or even your customers might like. Macaroons and chocolate hearts was what, well, I wanted, let's just be real, but I knew my friends would enjoy it as well. And that is it. This is my board that I will be bringing. I'm gonna add this cute little flower grape onto the board. Comment below if you want me to teach you how I created that. And of course, you've gotta add a little extra special chocolate on the board. What do you guys think? What would you change? What would you add? Of course, to travel, we're gonna cellophane this bad boy so everything gets there in one piece. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on my next video.